Hey guys, uh, once again I'm back and today I'm gonna show how to create a project, how to create a scratch org from the project and how to uh, push and pull source uh, from and to a scratch org. So uh, we can create um, a project uh, using two ways, either from the terminal firing up a command or using uh, the SFDX extension for VS Code. So first of all, I'm going to show it using the terminal command for Mac. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, one thing you have to ensure before you uh, create the project, you need to be in the right folder. By right folder, I mean the folder where you actually want your project to be created. And mind you, when you create a project, uh, uh, there is a folder automatically created by the name of the project so you don't have to think about that okay so here this is S uh, sfdx underscore projects this is my folder rather parent folder where I store all my project folders so I navigated to this and now I'm going to create the project so I'm going to write sfdx force colon project colon create minus n for name I'm gonna name it demo project and we have a project uh, and we can see there are certain files uh, that have been created this is particularly of interest so now let's check what all has been created uh, it's already here so this file essentially contains various details about uh, like whether you're trying to log into a production org or a scratch org or if you want to log into a sandbox this login.salesforce will become test.salesforce and uh, this is the path which will be used to create various packages the packages uh, we will discuss later on but yes, I mean, since this is how we are going to approach it, this is the approach uh, of package development. Everything inside this folder is what uh, is pushed into a package when we create one. So this is the folder. And yes, this is the default path for the package. Anyways, uh, uh, let's check the other file. This. As you can see, this is basically uh, the configuration file which determines uh, the creation of the scratch org. So you can you can choose any addition because uh, it's a scratch org; it's temporary in nature. So in this case, uh, the addition is a developer. You can you can spin up any addition org for your scratch org. You know, like it can be an enterprise edition, it can be an unlimited edition, whatever, because it's uh, ephemeral in nature and that's it so now I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna delete it so it's deleted already now you might ask me why did I delete it so that I can show you how to create it from here using the extension see it's so easy Con command P then greater than sign and here it is you get all the options so this is what I'm gonna choose and now I'm gonna write demo project and it is asking me where I want to create this project. This is where. And here it is. It opens up automatically. Again, you will see the same thing. So this is how you create a project. 